With millions of people all over the world, we are sure you want to be informed with happenings in states, countries, and the world at large. At Lightcast TV, we bring you details of news in entertainment, politics, human angle stories, and crime. We also engage business owners who talk to us about their business. Perhaps you want to go into such business. What are the things you need to know? We also bring you life of party from traditional engagement, weddings, housewarming, birthday parties, and many more. Keep a date with all the happenings on Lightcast TV by subscribing to our channel. Many thanks for watching. The one businessman, Obi Kubana, lectures on the pressure that causes the get rich quick syndrome in the youth of today. The Hannah Brabron entrepreneur emphasizes on the need to cut the youth some slack as a result of societal family and peer pressure that has caused the many to derail from good morals. In an Instagram post, Obi Kubana wrote, Good money, my fellow Nigerian youth. Today, let's talk about society self slash family pressures. The societal of family pressures are expectations that affect the entire community. Her youth are constantly forced to act or feel a certain way. Society enjoys detecting how her youth shall behave. They feel the pressure of fitting into society now. In a world where we want everything quick quick, youth are often faced with a lot of pressure from both the society and members of the families. While family is fun, this can also be full of tensions. Pressures placed on them to meet certain standards often lead to harmful outcomes. Do you know that a lot of these are undergoing the pressure because of the pressure and stress created by society and family. Some have resorted to drug abuse and excessive use of alcohol. Most young people had to leave school just to fend for their families. At a young age, the families are already heaping unrealistic responsibilities on them. Young girls are on the street because they need to send money home. Girls above 30 are expected to settle down in a man's home, especially a rich man. Young girls are put under pressure to have this perfect body. Same with the boys. Have you ever wondered who made those rules? The struggle of fitting in is becoming more prominent. There is literally pressure from every side. Pressure from work to meet a certain target, especially in banking system. Pressure from society to dress or look certain way. Pressure from school to pass off exams and get a certain grade. Pressure from our local churches to donate for one thing or another. Pressure from friends and it goes on and on. Even on social media, some are now depressed for not getting a certain amount of likes on the post. The strength and quality of social networks is not helping at all. What does it mean for our youth? Depression, sadness, crime, immorality, etc. Let's begin to shift our values. Let's teach our youth to learn to accept and love themselves. Let's teach them not to live above their hands in a bid to belong. Actress, businesswoman, and multi brand ambassador Tony Abraham has revealed the secret to what helped her husband, Kolawole Ajayi, stay active and energetic in bed. Tony Abraham, who recently backed an ambassadorial deal with Checkers Custard, leaked the information during her unveiling for the brand over the weekend. My husband cannot do without Checkers Custard. It takes his heavy money, and I'm seeing the results. It makes my husband energetic and gives him the energy to do the do and handle me very well. Tony Abraham disclosed at the press conference. Let's go TV we calls a few weeks ago. Tony Abraham had raised just always saying her husband Kola Wale Ajayemi is living on his wife and Paul, especially after Kola Wale Ajayemi gifted himself a new car for his birthday. After surprising Tony Abraham's mom with a car during Christmas, Tony Abraham, in a lengthy post on her Instagram page, said, People need to stop the mentality that famous people are the richest in their family. So Abraham said she will not allow anyone to talk down on her husband who is hard working and doing a lot for her and their kids. So Abraham added that people should stop with the calling her husband's work as everything he holds is due to his hard work and sweat. Popular Nigerian singer Abib Okikiola, also known as Potable, says he has a strong desire to win Grammy Awards one day. This is a hit maker made is not doing an interview with a punch. Adding that if he doesn't win a Grammy now before he ends his music career, there will be war. But while speaking on his sudden rise to fame, he said that he has always been a child of grace, as his stick of good luck did not just start. The native of Ogo State gave a lowdown of his background, saying he was born in Songota, grew up in Moshagege, but started his music career in Abuja. The father of the alleged that stands are fond of ripping up the upcoming artists in music industry. Potepo had earlier announced his U.S. tour schedule to commence May 2022 and end on June 2022. Potepo will visit Austin and Dallas, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, Phoenix, Arizona, Pennsylvania, San Francisco, Rhode, 
Ireland, New York City, and other major cities. Hikechuku Sunday Cruise or Congo, an ex Bibi Niger housemate, has come out public on his new trade of male prostitution, where he described himself on social media as a man Olosho. In the video, which seems to be made just for fun, Buzz Mesed makes money from sleeping with different women for his fee. He further disclosed that he charges 500,000 naira per night with additional treats from clients. It is unclear whether his claim is for humor, to spark controversy, or a real life situation. However, time will tell. Ever since he came out from Big Brother House, the reality star has been surrounded with a series of controversies from leaking of his bathroom tape to his arrest in South Africa and his recent romantic video, Maureen Isisim. Nigerian rapper Black Bonnet has opened up on his journey as a rapper, referencing his uncle who struggled with addiction and how it affected him. According to the rapper, he had an uncle who tried his hand at hip hop, got addicted to drugs, how drugs ruined, and how this affected the way their people perceived anyone who showed interest in music. He took to Twitter to make the revelation, stating that he had an uncle that used to rap, they didn't rap for him. He then got hooked on drugs from rehab to rehab till he ended up in the village. When I started rapping everyone thought i would end up like that but boy did not turn out so different adding i stay proving them wrong they used to say i see the spirit of uncle inside him and it used to hurt me so bad it then built a serious fear and anxiety in me and everything i did was i constantly thought what if they are true Popular entertainer DJ Copy and her Valentine's Day partner Ashiwa G. Larry had an interesting conversation on Twitter space during their first date. We called that the female Ted Dollar's daughter made a call to the fan by mentioning his handle on Twitter and asked him to be her partner despite their location differences. They had to turn out the further location differences when she gave the offer. As expected, the fan accepted her offer without too much resistance. The Jacobi took to her Instagram story and posted about her Valentine's Day conversation with a surgery on Monday, February 14, 2022. During their chat, she talked about her love for Yoruba tribe food, Amala. She introduced her puppies to him and she told him she was on bed alone. In response to this, Ashwaji Larry showered complimentary remarks on her dogs and dropped a flighty statement about her bed alone assertion. His words, you are adoring bed. His floaty response left the copy in shock. According to her reports, Gina Edo Pettit, a lover of Nollywood actress Nancy Hisney, has collected the car he gave to her after they parted ways. The gossip Instagram blog Cutie Jules revealed this via post where she heard from the Nancy Hisney boyfriend, the owner of Circa Lodge in Lagos, who claimed the automobile he gifted the TV host while they were dating. The report also disclosed that Gina Edo Pettit is one of abusing his staff and extremely rude to his friends. She was to have you read on Cutie Jewelry sometimes ago that our beautiful Nancy was dating Chine Edo Petit, Joanna Hoff, Saisa Lodge in Lagos. Um, that's my little man, person. Do you know he have collected the car he gave out as present to Nancy while they were dating? Yes, so he has. The thing said they tire me, they invest me, Jane. Normally, Chine do not any out person. From abusing his staff to being extremely rude to his friend, etc. But I never thought he could do this kind of thing. How can you be dating me for years and still collect the car you claimed? At the time that he bought for her, my relationship done here. I beg ladies, for this Nigeria, Lagos especially, shine your eyes. This may have format. Tell most of them now, yeah, who boy could deadly. Now, so you have to be sharp, babe, to survive their 419. Kayan O. Kayan, a veteran actor, has recommended parents to pay their children a from to school visit. According to the Nollywood actor, many school children leave their school to go to places they are not supposed to be without the consent of their parents. While paying an unplanned visit to his son's school, the actor provided the advice. This is critical. According to Mr. Kanayo, it will assist to avoid stories that make one age in less than 48 hours. Posted the footage on social media and wrote, Do you know how many of our children leave school to go to unimaginable places? This was a school maybe in Ekiti State, but it's on Lake Lagos State. Every weekend, grooving. Pay them unscheduled visits to have a story that may make you age under 48 hours. 
Now I worry about her Tracy Avoja has declared that her daughter Priscilla will not date her be a second wife to her married man. This is coming after the social media bashing that actress Mr. Hype received following a recent marriage to one cousin Madeleine, who is already married with four kids. We had seen over the weekend at the karaoke and coming night, single mother of two, actress and wealthy business owner, Yabo Oju, said, My daughter cannot marry a married man or date a married man. It all started when the host, comedian Akoriru, asked after Yabo's daughter and joked about having a crush on her. Reacting to the joke, Yabo reminded him of his marital status, adding that her daughter cannot marry a married man. She said, You are a married man, a born again married man. That has the fear of God. My daughter cannot marry a married man or date a married man. In 2021, Eabo joked about believing in early marriage as an African mother, joking with her daughter and others in an Instagram video. The actress said she wants her daughter engaged at 23, married at 24, and delivered of a baby at 25.